Hey and welcome. Today we're gonna remove the ASIC and uh, place it again just to show you how we're gonna do that. Still uh, 204 with tax board with uh, 136x ASIC chip. You can watch my first video and uh, see how we put the uh, solder the A6 chip on the board uh, using a template, 3D printed template and uh, stencil ordered with the, with the PCB. I will make a video showing you how to maybe how to order the PCB stencil and uh, parts if you if you if you want to or just ask him in the comment if you if you wonder about anything you can watch uh, it's not always the case but you can see the color of the the lead or change from from matte to 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 shiny silver it's not always the case some face have always shiny silver color but a lot of them change a little bit of texture when they cool down when i see the color changing i put my tweezers and trying to lift the basic chip as you can see it's easy to pick don't put too much pressure or you can damage it as you can see some some of the pins have solder on them, the other pin or the other don't have too much and it's uneven. It's why we have to clean everything because when we put the ASIC it's really important to have the same like elevation or same amount so we don't have mismatch some part get contact with the pin and the others don't and it will be a little bit mess. And when you put pressure on it, a lot of people do that, put pressure on the ASIC. Sometimes uh, the tin get flattened and you get short between the, the pins. Here I'm using the solder wick or uh, put some flux on it to help suck all the lead the tin from uh, the board don't push too hard here also i'm using a little bit of higher temperature because there is no no component it's just the, the board so it's, it's okay and i just uh, take the you have to clean the asic chip also Remember, do not tighten too much. Set back the temperature to 350 and just clean the ASIC. I created a little line between the pins. It's not important, but be careful when you do that because you can damage the ship really easy. You can see the line here. Doing some sort of face the same as we used in the first video, 183 degree paste. It's uh, really cheap paste from Aliexpress. Nothing fancy about it. Adding some flux, always. I think the most important thing to remember is to have the same height of pin on each pin and the middle part of the ASIC chip because if you have some more elevated than the other it will some will have contact the other not and it will will not work properly here i'm moving the solder board around to make sure all pin have the same obtain the same pin or solder
Yeah, I'm really happy with the result. Now just adding some flags and and putting the A6 chip in place. Yeah, I'm applying a little bit of pressure, just a little bit to spray the lead dot in evenly under the, the ASIC and letting go just to to be sure to that all the pin and the middle part of the ASIC are touching the the board evenly yeah, as you can see I'm just moving it a little bit around you will feel that the, the ASIC go back to its place when when you don't push it too much because it will go to the other pin so you have to be a little bit careful here just push it a little bit you can see i'm adding a little bit of solder paste to some pins because because it didn't have enough so i'm just pushing here you can see and uh, now you can see that two of them are shorting and just take the tweezers and just move it as you can see just don't uh, use too much paste because it will be a mess and really difficult to fix that you can always take everything and clean everything again and do the process just don't use too much paste yeah cleaning a little bit and as usual I use to be careful to not have directly on the chip because it's still too warm I'm just double checking that everything is okay sometimes I have to do that after I have put all my flex in place because I will find out that some pin are not connected properly so don't be afraid to do that again just don't use so much paste and be patient it will be be okay as always thank you for watching and if you have any question just ask